I just, uh, I love Spider-Man. His stories are just so, uh, fun, yet they can be relatively deep and emotional. Spectacular Spider-Man Volume 6, The Final Curtain, really embodies this, collecting Peter Parker's Spider-Man 39-41 and Spectacular Spider-Man 21, 22, and 27, which uh, make up the end of writer Paul Jenkins' five-year run of the title. With him comes Mark Buckingham and the talent of Talent Caldwell. Ah, see what I did there? Yeah, okay, I'm bad, I get it. But really, Talent's talent is really the shining standout in this book, at least in terms of art. Buckingham's art isn't bad by any means, in fact looking quite good at points, but Caldwell's polished and less realistic style, reminiscent of Humberto Ramos, my, my favorite comic artist, really takes the cake in this book. You would think writing would also follow with the art style, and, well, you would be mostly right because it, it does. The Peter Parker Spider-Man issues follow the return of Dr. Octopus, as well as a villain named Fusion. Sure, it's an action-centric book, but it's more of a fun, actually pretty average short arc that hits some of the notes of a good Spider-Man story, but doesn't do anything truly special. Overall, it's pretty light, and Buckingham's art kind of reflects that. The following issues of Spectacular Spider-Man are definitely the best, with 21 and 22 being very close in quality. 21 follows an annual poker game all the heroes have, and it's just really a great issue. There's actually some conflict in the form of the Kingpin, and the fantastic art in mostly hit and less miss dialogue made it a fun issue to read. And the art fits. But then comes 22, and the overall more serious tone and Peter's conflicting emotions uh, kind of reveal the darker side of superheroing, and the art really just contrasts that, making it all the better. And then you get to the touching last issue of Jenkins' run. The difference in art between present and past is really done well, and Aunt May's expression should tell you a bit of what you need to know. So overall, Spectacular Spider-Man Volume 6, The Final Curtain, is a spectacular oh my god blend of lighthearted tales and more serious reflections either way the art is really good best with talent caldwell and this is really a worthwhile book for any spider-man fan jenkins really thanks all of his readers in his final issue and this page kind of says it all and i'm not familiar at all with his work but if this book is any indication i might have to look into more of it